Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, I thank God for those of us that are online. I really appreciate your your time. And I appreciate you waiting for the online prayer meeting. Just a little bit. I was in a meeting. I was in a meeting. My blessed Lord is not all together for good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's prayer together. Our Father, we thank you because every time we come together to pray, you are, you are the God that always manifests your power in our midst. We bless your name because tonight you are going to take every one of us to the next level. Amen. And the brief moment we are going to pray together, I pray that there shall be revival. I pray Amen. that there shall be manifestation. I pray Amen. that the hand of God will lift everybody up to the next level of victory and dominion in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pray that the Spirit of God and the Spirit of Christ we possess every heart, we possess every life, we possess every individual and every family. And I am asking you, dear Father, that you are going to overthrow every agenda, every agenda of the enemy, every agenda of the forces of darkness. We pray, oh God, oh, that there are going to be a release, a relief from every Every entanglement of the forces of darkness oppressing your Amen. people in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, I will pour upon the house of David the spirit of prayer and supplication. Tonight, I ask Holy Ghost, may there be a release of the spirit of prayer upon our life, upon our soul, and baptize everyone tonight with the power of prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's begin to show appreciation to God. Let's begin to show appreciation to God. I want you to begin to open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to show appreciation to Him, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the ancients of days, the God of glory. Magnify the Lord and worship Him. Magnify the Lord and glorify Him. Exalt Him. Magnify Him. Glorify him. Praise the God of virtue, the I am that I am. Praise the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Praise his holy name. Give him the glory due unto his name. Give him the glory due unto his name. For our God is a good God. For our God is a mighty God. Our God is greater in strength and great in power. Father, we want to thank you because you are great in our midst. We want to thank you because you are powerful. We want to exalt you. We want to give you the praise. We want, we want to give you the honor. Thank you for the spirit of prayer. Thank you for the spirit of supplication. Thank you for the manifestation of your grace. Thank you for the manifestation of power. I am that I am, the King of Kings. The ancients of days, the God of all power, the God of all Thank you for the sacrifice of your son Jesus Christ on the cross for us. Jesus came to take away our sins. Thank you, Jesus is the Lamb of God. Thank you. The Lord is great in strength, great in power. Glory, glory, glory. Who is that one to our God? Ancients of things. I am that I am. 
There is no one with the compare with you. Send your hand. before the Lord that the efficacy of the blood of Jesus will purify you. The Bible says who gave himself for us that he may redeem all to all unity as the redemption, the power of the blood of Jesus to redeem you from everything that will hinder your prayer tonight. Of the 
Jesus name we pray. Amen. Very briefly, very briefly, I will let me just exhort you about the importance of praying in the night. The importance of midnight prayer. The importance of midnight prayer. Most of you do not know the importance of midnight prayer. Praying at midnight can be a time of great success. To the prayer of a born again Christian. Many things happen at midnight. Many things happen at the midnight hour of prayer. If you study your Bible very well, you can remember in Exodus chapter 11, verse 4, uh, when Moses said, God says the law about midnight, about midnight, go out in the midst of Egypt. And in chapter 12 of the book of Exodus, verse 29, chapter 12 of the book of Exodus, verse 29, and it came to pass that at midnight the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. I want to ask you a question. Why is it it was at midnight God took that decision to smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. The psalmist said, at midnight, I will arise and give thanks unto thee because of that, because of that righteousness. At midnight, many things are put at midnight. Big tree, be one at midnight. Remember Paul and Silas. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoner Harden. Brethren, listen to me. Midnight is a time for freedom fighter to conquer the enemy of their territory through prayer. You hear me very well? It's a time for freedom fighter to conquer the enemy territory through prayer, through spiritual warfare, through waging war against the forces and the powers of darkness. It was at midnight we can have such victory. Don't forget, when you tarry at midnight, you scatter the agenda of wickedness. You disappoint the applause. You that is why for some days and for some months or for some months, I have been taking us through spiritual warfare. I've been taking us through some battles. The the the, the warriors battle. And I want you to understand to catch it very important because midnight, a lot of danger happens. The spirit of the sleeping man is weak at night. The flesh is weak at night. The flesh wants to relax. The flesh wants to sleep. But the spirit is willing. The enemy knows this and use this spirit to attack men. Remember, don't forget, Jesus Christ said, he told his disciples that the enemy come to plant evil when they are sleeping. The enemy come to plant evil while people are sleeping. May I say this, if you can marry at this time of, at this time of the hour we are praying, for those of you, for those of us in Nigeria, these are almost midnight, from 11 to 12, 12 midnight, it's a midnight, it's a difficult time. Most people are resting, most people are sleeping, most people are weak, but your spirit man is awake. Your spirit man is awake. And these are the times the enemy go and plant difficulty, sickness, tuberculosis, accident, premature death. These are the period they carry out their evil agenda, their evil plot. But if you can prevail and pray and pray and pray, I'm telling you, 
victory will be won in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Prayer is for Christians who are ready to penetrate the kingdom of Satan and frustrate their plan and put down the walls of principalities and powers. It is for Christians who want to overcome evil before the battle begins to obtain the resources of evil. It is for Christians who are fed up of their present spiritual state and you become a terror for devil and his kingdom if you can pray effectively. Prepare the prayer at midnight hour. You can, we can also have a lot of blessing Blessing as well in the morning time. You know, I, I will not forget what the Lord told me some years ago in Job chapter 38, verse 12 and 13. It, it was Job, when, when Job was going through challenges, God was asking Job questions in Job chapter 38, verse 12 and 13. Before we pray, as thou command the morning since thy days and cause the day star to know its place, Job, God was asking Job, Job, have you command the morning? Since your days, you wake up early in the morning. Have you spoken to the morning? Have you commanded your day? Have you challenged your day? Have you disorganized the program of the enemy that has been accomplished in the night? Have you disorganized it? All their agenda, all the things they have brought in the night against your life, against your family. Have you scattered it? Have you have you scattered their agenda? And God was asking Job, Job chapter 38, verse 12, as thou command the morning since thy days and call the day star to know for his place, that it may take hold of the age of the earth, that the wicked may be shaken out of the way. That the wicked may be shaken out of the way. The wicked have planned a plot against you, against your family. The wicked has planned a plot against you, against your health. The wicked, they are not happy. They're not happy of your progress. They're not happy of your family. They're not happy. Be you a Christian, they are angry. They are planning evil. They throw arrow. They do some magic power against you. And God said, have you shaped them out of the way? Have you destabilized them? Have you conquered them? Have you put them out of their hiding place? That is your responsibility as a king to overthrow their kingdom, to overthrow their territory and to pull down the strongholds of the enemies in your family. Will I tell you, the man will also say this. What we kill a man, okay, it has been accomplished in the spirit realm before it, before, it, before yeah. the manifestation. All the challenges you are seeing today, physically, it has been concluded in the spirit world. It has been concluded from their COVID. That is why, that is why you must destroy their altar. All their images, they take, they took your picture to evil altar. They make sure the name of your children, the name of your family upon evil altar to cause damage. But when you rise to pray at midnight, their agenda, their plot, their activity will be scattered. And I pray tonight, all the agenda of the powers and forces that is threatening your life, that is confronting you. And is challenging you like when Goliath came and was challenging David and Israel. Am I not a Philistine? Are you men of Saul? Give me a man that we should fight 40 days and 40 nights in the valley. He was posting, he was cracking, he was cracking, he was posting. But there came out a champion. His name was David, and David overcome that Goliath. Brethren, men and, men and brethren. Tonight, power will come upon your life. Tonight, authority will come upon your life. And everything <laughs> that has been with you, everything that has upper hand in your life, the power of God will cross it out of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. A meeting was organized by demon, by Satan, by Lucifer. And, the, and one of his angels, before he got born again, said this. He said, he, when he was in a dark war, Lucifer was asking that this Christian, that the only that the only thing that we can take away from them 
is for them to be too busy, to be too busy not to pray. Allow them go to church. Allow them read the Bible. Allow them do many activities. But they occupy them. They, they should have more time for their master. They should, they should have more time to communicate with their maker. They should be far away in the place of altar of prayer. I want to say the devil has succeeded. Look at prayer online. People are not going to pray again. If you come for prayer, people cannot go pray 10 minutes. They are tired. And you can see them. They can talk and talk and talk about, about, about everything going on in the society. But time for prayer, they will give excuse. They can attend prayer online. They can attend prayer meeting. The chief, they are so tired. They, they split on prayer. The demo, the demo has penetrated the church today. He has attacked the power of prayer, the power of righteousness, the power of holiness. He has killed. Because if you are not praying, I want to tell you, if you are not praying, sin will come into your life. If you are not praying, it will be very easy for the devil to cross that believer. Prayer is full of your weapon. And if you if you are prayerful, you are living a righteous life, a holy life, and you are going out for evangelism, you are a terror to the kingdom of darkness. You are a terror to them. They, in fact, they, the moment you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, they are in trouble because you are already a terror to their kingdom. Men and brethren, there is a need for us to pray. There is a battle going on spiritually. Look at the prayer life of the church today, so weak. Look at the prayer life of people today, it's so weak. People cannot spend 10 minutes in prayer, even prayer online. I have to be immune yourself, pray, immune yourself. People are just like they are, they are like a monitoring spirit. They are not praying. They are just listening to what we are saying. My brother, my sister, to survive in this entire battle, you must pray. As you pray, the Lord God Almighty. We stand, he said, and we pour upon the house of David the spirit of prayer and supplication. I pray for somebody online tonight. May the Lord release the spirit of prayer upon your life. May the almighty God baptize you with the spirit of prayer and supplication in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Mouth and go before the Lord, begin to bless the Lord because tonight I'm going to release some prayer for you to pray about. Because to thank God for the opportunity you have once again to tonight is we be a night of prayer to put down the book of Jericho. Because to appreciate God for coming to love in Christ, because to appreciate God the power for all that they put upon you in Christ, because to give him the glory. Job chapter 38, verse 12 and verse 13. He said, As thou commanded the morning since thy day, and called the day spring to know his place. Verse 13 said, That he may take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked may be shaken out of the way. You are going to pray. Any man or woman that are positioned in or are set before you, before, be, before your program, that want to cause havoc in your life and in your family and your ministry, oh God, shake them out of the way. Oh Amen. God, put them out of my life, out of my family. Oh, put your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. Any man or woman that are positioned you or are set before your life, to cross you, the Lord will cross them. The power of the Lord will the spirit of the Lord will cross them. Command, 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 command. 
the Lord says you escape them out of the way. Save them out of the way. The flock of them, they have said before you, save them out of the way. So they have said before you, save you them out of the way. Out of the way. Every calculated dead in your blood, in your life, in your family, your ministry, take it out of the way. Of man, he has commanded in your life, the power of God will be released out of the way. Jesus Christ, I come before you this very hour to give the day of my total liberation. And I want to know the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, the name that you can call me, brother, and the name of your brother, who is my child, 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 who is my
we have offensive weapons and defensive weapons. If you are using defensive weapon against the enemy, you say, oh God, protect me. That is defensive weapon. Oh God, shield me. That is defensive weapon. But offensive weapon, you attack. You launch a war against their camp. You launch a war in the military, in, in, in warfare. You launch a war back. If you're not defensive weapon, using defensive weapon, defensive weapon, it will go the time the enemy will push you to the war. And you have nowhere to go again. Because you have faced the final apostle. And it's why you must pray and pray and pray. You are going to put a prayer for us again. He disappoints the devices of the taxi. So that their hair cannot perform the enterprise. You are going to pray, oh Lord. Oh Lord, frustrate power, frustrating the work of my hand. Frustrate power that is frustrating my family. You are Every power frustrating you spiritually in the ministry, in, in your place of work, in, 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 in your health, your life, any personality, any power that is frustrating your head, you are going to command, oh God, frustrate them. Oh God, frustrate them. Root them out and let them cast Father, fire. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the name that you have proven, brother, and in order to measure every other power flow and enterprise. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray. Amen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Somebody saw me last uh, last week. He called for prayers. So I was asking him what happened. He said this, the wife, the wife, the wife. He said the wife has run away. I said, what happened? As we get into the matter, the first wife he married, the woman died. This, this same man married another woman again. The second wife also died. He married another uh. woman again. The third wife also died. He uh. married another woman again. The fourth wife also died. Uh. It was the fifth wife that saw all what is happening. He had a story he wrote for his dear life. I look at the man. The Lord spoke to me that the man has some spiritual challenges. Which I told him I bought to eyeball. He was sure. My brother, you are going to pray. Every program of death assigned against you and your family. Because whatever that we kill a man, they are projected it in the spirit realm. Maybe spiritually, physically, mm. maritally, socially. You see some people, their marital life is dead. Some people, their spiritual life is dead. Some people, their social life, so, social life is dead. Some people, their academic life is dead. Everything surrounding them spiritual, they are dead and they are still alive. We have spiritual dead. We have physical dead. We have marital dead. We have a social dead. Different type of deaths. You are going to pray. Every program of death, spiritual death, physical death, material death, financial death, every type of death. The enemy has programmed in my life, in my family. Oh God, I terminate it. Oh God, I terminate it. Oh, put your mouth and terminate. Every Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I every form of death that the enemy has programmed in my life, in my family.
So some people who are administrators, they should know that. Immediately you see that, go to the uh to the dot. You will see remove. You will quickly remove them. And then somebody right. allowed them. That's why when we align, let us be careful. Or people we allow to come in. Immediately you doubt that person. Don't allow him. Let anybody that's sure of the person allow him to come in. You get what I'm saying, sir? All the people who Thank are... So immediately you doubt that I don't know this person. Don't allow him to come in. Another person we know. So if nobody is better, we don't allow them to come in than allow them uh, to come in and come and disturb us. And that's why we say people should be using their name when they want to uh, when they want to join us. God will help us. So those people, they eject, but I uh, it. Thank you, sir. In Jesus' name, you, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for all the prayer requests on the platform. Somebody has written to us. He's having pain in his waist, in his leg. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. The Bible is the gospel of his world. He healed them and delivered them from the destruction. Yes, you are going to pray, oh God, as many that are having severe pain on their foot, on yes. their way, on yes. their leg, oh God, deliver them. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I come before you, my people, my brethren that are on this platform, that this very power. Glorify yourself in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are here. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, somebody said, we are request pray for my co-worker and friends who is going through depression and is ex experiencing conflict and misunderstandings with his father and mother. May the Lord prepare his heart to believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray for this person that is going through depression and conflict and misunderstanding. Let's pray for God. Father, I want to pray for
of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Please don't allow anything to discourage you. Yes. Because when God is about to do a miracle, <laughs> the devil wants to put his action. <laughs> Be focused. Be focused as you are focused. Yes. The Lord God Almighty will visit you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Amen. if you will pray for yourself, man, you, will, you will pray for yourself. Yes. That this month of February, remember I told you, on the 1st of February, the Thursday, we have the prayer here. I told you, this month is a month of favor. You Amen. are going to pray, oh God, in this month of favor, the month of February, oh God, favor me at my household. Pray for me physically, pray for me spiritually, pray for me marriage, pray for me financially, because of all that are going to pray for me. All we pray for is God to pray for me. We find favor with the Lord. We find favor with the Lord. We just need help from all over the world. The people that hold on to me are just going to pray for me. Let them know that they are going to pray for me. Let them know that they are going to pray for me. Let them know that they are going to pray for me. And the finally 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 let's pray for all those god is using on this our prayer platform, our pastors, and also those that are sponsoring this prayer online, the sponsor. we pray. I want you to pray one more prayer. Any participant that is in our prayer platform as an agent of darkness that was sent to monitor what we are doing. <laughs> Jesus, name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for all your support and all your all your prayer. I really appreciate everyone of us to make for prayer prayer online. And I want to encourage us that as we keep on participating in our online prayer meeting. The Lord will be having grace and favor and power, anointing and glory upon our ministry, upon our life, upon our family, in Jesus' name.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want us to call upon the name of the Lord because I trained us a little bit. Call upon the name of the Lord that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in any where any area your children find themselves, they will continue to be a victor in Jesus' name. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. In any social area, in academic I want you to prophesy that by the power and the you become a lawyer. I want you to prophesy to that you become that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ you become a doctor. I want you to prophesy that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ you become a minister of God. I want you to prophesy that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ you will be free from one in the world. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ you will be free from one in the world.
and to preach to them and to evangelize them and to bring them into the kingdom of God. We know as we take care of the things of God, you are going to take care of all our needs, physical needs, financial needs, social needs. We believe you. You are going to supply our needs in Jesus' name. Amen. This month, we have declared this month to be a month of favor. Amen. The ones that have participated on tonight's prayer, I decree and I declare it will be a month of favor for you. Amen. Amen. Bless every family. Bless Amen. our children. Bless Amen. our family. Amen. Bless every mother. Amen. Bless every sister. The blessing of Abraham to follow us. So Amen. I'm with us. So we Amen. So Father, Amen. in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's have the peace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Spirit with us, be with us forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy that follow us all the days of our lives, and we are with you forever and ever. Amen. And thank you all. Thank we have great attendance. God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Let us continue. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Good night, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.